Why, hello there, and welcome to the second and final Inktober 2018 drawing video. We're starting with day 22, the prompt for which was expensive. So I decided to draw this very, very exquisite and expensive sword. As you can see, it has everything you could want and never need in a sidearm. And here is the finished sword. As you can see, it has Bluetooth connectivity, a laser sight, and a bayonet. Just like, you know, swords do. And next we have day 23, the prompt for which was muddy. So I decided to draw this uh, mud elemental because I've been having kind of a fantasy adventure monster theme going on throughout the month. And uh, this seemed appropriate especially because it's basically a slime monster and that's a thing I'm good at drawing. Also, I remember that I had this brush pen that I never use because the uh, tip got frayed really, really quickly, so I cannot recommend Copic uh, brush pens. And here is the finished mud elemental. It is quite muddy, it is coming for you, and let's move on to the next one. Day 24, and the prompt was chop. So I uh, decided to draw this, uh, this nice gentleman here, uh, chopping off his fingers as part of his intricate plan, which in retrospect has many flaws. I uh, had been doing so much like normal fantasy stuff, I just wanted to do something weird, because I like weird, and that's what I'm doing here. Alright, here it is. Uh, he has chopped his fingers off. It is weird and bloody, and I hope you're not squeamish about blood. Alright, and next we have day 25. Brickly. So I had originally intended just to do like a uh, cactus girl, but then as I was drawing it, she seemed to take more and more the shape of a sexy cactuar. Or cactuar. Cactuar? Yeah, let's go with uh, cactuar. That one is the fanciest. Alright, and here is our sexy cactuar, as you can see, standing in the traditional cactuar pose. And next we have... Day 26, for which the prompt was stretch. So, I decided to draw this uh, goblin here. Uh, being suspicious, but not perhaps quite seeing where the danger is coming from. And behind her, a choker, reaching out to choke her. To be unaware, a choker is a monster that's kind of like Stretch Armstrong if he was evil and lived in caves and liked choking people. Although admittedly I don't know enough about Stretch Armstrong's backstory to say that that is not an accurate description. And here it is. She is about to get choked by the choker. Because that's what chokers do. You can't blame them for that. They're chokers. They choke. And day 27, the theme for which was thunder. Thunder is a sound. I did not really know how to illustrate a sound. So I drew this, which I'm sure makes sense in some way. All right, here is the finished Cloudhead Thunder Lady, uh, baring her breast to intimidate her enemies because when in doubt, nudity. All right, and moving on to day 28, the prompt for which was Gift. So I decided to keep with my kind of fantasy adventure theme with the occasional clown thrown in and draw this Lich, who has received a gift from this clown. Unfortunately for him, it was a spring-loaded pie. <sighs> when will he ever learn? Honestly, you know... You only have yourself to blame if you go around accepting gifts from random clowns, possibly in dungeons. And also, I mean, he's a lich. They're supposed to be smart, aren't they? Supposed to be all wizards and whatnot. Getting tricked by a clown? That's not very lich-like of you, Mr. Lich. Step up your lich game. Step it up. Alright, here is the uh, finished thing. As you can see, he is just as angry as when I was drawing it, and she's just as pleased. So let's move on. Day 29, and the prompt was double. The prompt did not require this to be out of focus. That is on me. Sorry. 
So I decided to draw the, you know, kind of cliche where someone has a double, one is evil obviously, and they are both accusing each other of being the imposter. However, if you look really closely, you'll notice I did put in a few little hints about which one is the imposter, and, you know, I think if you pay attention, you can, you can pick out which one is real and which one isn't. Don't feel bad if you can't though, I mean, they're really subtle. Alright, here is the finished version with our nearly identical goblins. Can you spot which one's the imposter? Let me know in the comments if you think you figured it out. And on to day 30. The prompt was Jolt, and it was another one that I didn't really know what to draw up, so I just drew this goblin who was likely fishing and unknowingly caught herself an electric eel, which, uh, you know, probably doesn't like being caught and then, you know, possibly eaten. And of course she's naked because, as previously stated, when in doubt, nudity. Alright, here is the finished drawing, and I don't have much to say about it, other than that I didn't really think through the teeth very well. And the final Inktober drawing, day 31, Slice. Now that was just inviting me to do something violent and graphic. So, of course I had to not do that because that's the way I operate, so I drew this pizza slice monster. Because everyone loves pizza and everyone loves monsters, therefore, everyone loves pizza monsters. Oddly enough, this is not the first pizza monster I've drawn, and it will probably not be the last. Alright, here is the finished version and the end to Inktober 2K18. And honestly, I am kinda glad that it is over. Alright, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then do the buttons and consider watching some of my other fine content. And why not share those fine videos with your peer group? They'll appreciate you keeping them in the know. Well, until next time.